most precise drill sharpener, the Drill Doctor from professional tool manufacturing. The Drill Doctor is a superior quality tool from a company with a tradition of 25 years making precision drill sharpeners for industry worldwide. Hi, this video is provided to help you learn correct drill sharpening procedures, which will ensure successful operation for many years to come. And it's simple. The entire process takes place in less than a minute. The Drill Doctor comes in two models. The standard model 500 SP with a drill capacity of 330 seconds to half inch and the professional model 750 SP with a drill capacity of 330 seconds to 3 quarter inch. The 750 SP also includes a second larger chuck and a chuck storage rack. The Drill Doctor is made of impact resistant plastic and it's entirely produced in the United States. These units are designed with many of the same quality engineering features as our industrial sharpeners. However, the Drill Doctor is meant for personal and small shop use. It can grind the drill on center within six thousandths of an inch. It can produce both conventional and high performance split points and can work with short and masonry drills. And the maintenance free diamond wheel will sharpen high speed steel, cobalt, tin coated, and carbide drills. It has an average life of 200 sharpening cycles depending on the drill material and size. Operating the Drill Doctor is easy. That's correct. There are three basic steps that when followed will result in an incredibly sharp drill. Align the drill, sharpen the drill, and if desired, split the drill point. How many different kinds of drills are there? <laughs> Essentially there are three basic styles. The 118 degree point, considered a standard general purpose drill, used in drilling mild steel, aluminum, or wood. The 135 degree point, which is typically a split point, or as we say, a high performance drill, used in drilling higher tensile steels, and carbide tip masonry drills, which are typically used for drilling into concrete. Is there anything else we need to know about drills? These are the flutes. These two edges are the cutting lips. This leading edge here is the chisel edge. This is the web. And most importantly on a drill is the relief, which can be described as a downward angle between the cutting lip and the trailing edge. The Drill Doctor is designed to grind a factory standard relief on your drills. So the Drill Doctor lets you resharpen the point to its original manufactured angle? That's correct. It gives you a cam generated drill point using a radial grind. This is the same process used in manufacturing a new drill. Can I make a high performance split point drill from a standard drill with the Drill Doctor? Absolutely. The Drill Doctor is designed to make high performance split point drills. Splitting the point makes a drill self-centering which enables easier drilling and lessens a drill's tendency to walk before it begins to cut. It creates additional cutting lips along the chisel edge of a drill, thereby eliminating the need to center punch a hole. Well now, um, let's go over the basic points to sharpening drills with the Drill Doctor. The first step is identifying your drill point angle and setting the machine. It's a good idea to start with a drill of a quarter inch to three eighths inch in diameter. Hold the drill against the angle notches to determine the point angle of your drill. The Drill Doctor is most efficient at recreating your original drill point. However, you can change most drills to the angle or style that meets your needs. To set the angle indicator the same as the drill point, insert a chuck without a drill in it into the sharpening tube labeled number three. Use the chuck as a lever and at the same time, pull out on the loop handle and move it to the appropriate location. Make sure the notch in front and back are seated. Set the pointer on alignment tube number one to the correct drill point geometry, either standard, split, or masonry point. In this demonstration, we'll be sharpening a split point. Insert the drill in the chuck. Turn the chuck knob clockwise until the drill is tightened in the chuck. 
Then turn the knob counterclockwise until it's just loose enough for the drill to fall out. Align the flat on the chuck with the flat on the alignment tube labeled number one. Insert the chuck all the way into the alignment tube until it stops. You'll know it's all the way in when the flat on the chuck is entirely hidden. Squeeze the black paddle marked number two. This opens the pawl arms. Push the drill in with your finger until it contacts the drill stop. Release the paddle, but continue pushing the drill against the stop. Rotate the drill until the pawls grab it. Notice the pawl location. It should be at the narrowest place on the flutes of the drill. Now rotate the chuck knob clockwise to tighten the drill in the chuck. Remove the chuck from the alignment tube and tighten with both hands to secure the drill. So now that the drill is properly aligned, we're ready to sharpen the drill point. That's correct. Remember, we want to keep consistent pressure on the cams as this is a cam generated point. So let's go ahead and turn the drill doctor on. This is the sound level you should expect. Insert the chuck into the sharpening tube labeled number three. Pushing in along the axis of the sharpening tube, rotate the chuck clockwise with constant pressure. It's normal for the sharpening tube to move in and out during this process. Be sure to press in firmly and to rotate the chuck an even number of times. How many times do you rotate the chuck? It depends. 12 to 20 times for a medium-sized drill. Less for a smaller drill, more for a larger drill. Remove the chuck from the sharpening tube. However, don't remove the drill from the chuck if you plan to split the point. After sharpening the drill, and with the motor still on, insert the chuck into splitting tube labeled number four. Align the flats on the chuck with the flats in the splitting port. The cam edge should almost rest on the machine housing. Slowly pull the chuck toward you, allowing the chuck to pivot in the port. You'll hear the drill contact the wheel. Two short packs should split the point on smaller drills, and it may take more on larger drills. Pull the chuck out of the port just far enough to rotate it 180 degrees. Push it back in until it seats all the way. Give it two more pecks to split the other side, or more if it's a larger drill. How do we know when the split is correct? The split should be even. If you look at this 135 degree split point from the top, the split should look symmetrical. These two parallel lines should have a separation of 5 to 12 thousandths on the chisel angle. And that's it. If you follow these instructions, you'll have incredibly sharp drills. The Drill Doctor. In the second part of this tape, we'll explore sharpening specialized drills, cleaning and maintenance, and troubleshooting. Identify the drill angle and set the machine alignment as for normal drills. Push the paddle back and insert the individual drill into the alignment tube all the way. Release the paddle and turn the drill until it is secured by the pawls on the flutes of the drill and pointing straight out. It's a good idea to tighten the chuck jaws down to the approximate size of the small drill before sliding the chuck into the alignment tube. Continue to hold the drill with one hand and carefully slide the chuck onto the drill with the other. Align the flat on the chuck with the flat on the alignment tube and push the chuck all the way until it stops. Tighten the chuck onto the drill with the chuck knob. Sharpen as you would a standard drill. Chuck jaws around the drill should be in line. If not, turn the chuck knob counterclockwise to straighten. Locate the alignment tube pointer to the masonry position. Place the drill in the chuck loosely. Push the paddle back. Insert the chuck into the alignment tube all the way. Grasp the shank end of the drill and rotate it so that the right cutting lip is high in a two o'clock position. Tighten the chuck and remove it from the tube. Release the paddle. Sharpen the masonry drill just like any other drill. After sharpening many drills, the drill grinding dust will accumulate in the grinding compartment. To remove the dust, remove the black cover from the top of the machine. 
Use the wrench provided by inserting it in the slot at the rear of the machine. Use a twisting motion rather than pulling or prying. Shake the accumulated drill grinding dust into a disposable container. Remove remaining dust particles with a very small brush. Wipe the sharpening and splitting tubes out periodically with a dry rag. There are three ways to determine if a wheel change is required. One, the drill bits will burn or turn blue no matter how fast or slow you rotate the chuck. Two, upon inspecting the wheel by touching it, it feels like there is no abrasive on the lower portion. Three, when sharpening the drill, it takes too many rotations to sharpen the tool. Unplug the drill doctor and remove the cover. The wheel is attached to the hub with two Phillips head screws and a wheel retainer. Insert the wrench directly below the wheel onto the flats located on the hub. Remove the screws, wheel retainer, and worn wheel. In some cases, you can turn a diamond wheel over to get extended sharpening life. Clean the inside of the new wheel and install it. Secure the wheel with the retainer and screws until snug. Over tightening the screws will strip the wheel hub. With pressurized air, blow the chuck out from the closing knob end. For further cleaning, disassemble the chuck by merely unscrewing the closing knob on the chuck and removing the nose. Clean the inside of the chuck with a dry paintbrush. Do not attempt to remove the springs and jaws from the holder. Be sure jaws are aligned in the grooves. Grab the alignment tube handle, pull it forward slightly, rotate the handle counterclockwise until it is almost vertical. Pull forward and it will unlock from the front of the case. Wipe the part off with a dry rag and vacuum the front hole out to remove any particles from the machine. Reinsert the alignment tube in the opposite way that it was removed. Be sure to unplug your drill doctor. Take a dry cloth and wipe the inside of the tube to remove any grindings that might have accumulated. The grinding particles can promote wear on the tube and chuck, so cleaning on a consistent basis can add life to your machine. You can order any necessary replacement parts directly from Drill Doctor or through your retailer. Let's go over some common problems and their solutions. I aligned the drill and sharpened it, but no material gets removed. Why? You may have allowed the alignment pusher paddle to knock the drill back into the chuck. Carefully realign the drill in the alignment tube again, making sure the drill is pushed all the way against the stop. Why doesn't my drill align correctly? There may be a burr on the drill shank, which can be removed with a flat file. Also, the drill might be too loose or too tight in the chuck. The point angle indicator is stuck, and I can't move it from 118 to 135 degrees by using the loop handle. With the machine off and no drill in the chuck, insert the chuck into the sharpening tube number three as far as it will go. Grasp the chuck for extra mechanical leverage and move the point arrow indicator to the desired setting. I'm getting negative relief. Negative relief is present when the heel of a flute is higher than the cutting lip on a drill. When this happens, the drill will not cut. To correct negative relief, follow this procedure. Set the alignment tube to the non-split setting. Turning lever number one counterclockwise will increase relief. Realign the drill, then resharpen in the sharpening tube. Maintain continuous contact between the cams on the chuck with the cam followers on the sharpening tube. Why do the masonry drills I sharpen on the drill doctor look different than my new masonry drills? It looks different because of the cam generated grind. It will work just fine. What can I do about the flat spot between the lip and the heel? 
The flat spots, or chattering, shown here on a sharpened drill are the result of an incomplete or fast rotation of the chuck in the sharpening tube number three. To correct, apply firm, not excessive pressure and rotate the chuck smoothly while sharpening. Be sure to complete the grind. After sharpening, the grind finish on my drill is rough. Is this a problem? Grind finish is initially rough when sharpened by a new diamond wheel. Drill performance will not be noticeably affected, however. The finish will improve as the diamond coating breaks down. Why is my point split uneven? This diagram shows a drill point that is undersplit. To correct this, the undersplit flute should have more material taken off. To do this, reinsert the chuck into the splitting tube marked number four with the undersplit flute on top and give another short peck to the flute. The result will look like this. My small drills are grinding off center. After aligning the small drill, look into the back of the chuck and notice if the jaws are straight to each other. If the jaws are twisted in a spiral direction, then grasp the closing knob and very carefully turn it counterclockwise to straighten the jaws. This procedure will center the drill in the chuck. My drill point was sharpened improperly. The most common cause of improper sharpening is not aligning the drill in the chuck properly. Key causes are drill not pushed all the way to the drill stop, chuck not pushed all the way into the alignment tube, and drill not aligned in the pawls correctly. In order to correct these problems, be sure that the chuck is all the way into the alignment tube, the drill point is against the drill stop, and the pawls are located in the narrowest portion of the drill flutes. Drill Doctor, the world's best drill bit sharpeners, proudly made in Ashland, Oregon, USA.